Hello everyone, so today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can create menus. And here is what a menu looks like. Okay, now that you guys have seen what a menu looks like, let us let me show you how you guys can create it. So first, you guys have to go to the description and then click on this website where it's going to bring you guys to this Minecraft Creator Hub. And then click on Tools and Quick Create and then click on Script Creator. And of course, you guys don't need to know any coding and you guys... It will just be easy as just filling in a form and then uh, go, uh, like open another tab and then click on the link again so I'm just gonna copy this link and paste it again okay just like that and then go to tools quick create and then this time go to scripting and then go to scripter so this one is a scripter page and this one is a script creator page so this is where you guys can create the add-on like easily by just putting some stuff in these text boxes it's that easy yeah and now in the script scripter page let's go create that menu that you guys saw at the beginning so first i'm going to create i'm going to name the title of that menu like a shop menu i'm going to create a shop menu so i'm going to name it shop and you guys can also color it by using this symbol which is double s or something like that you guys can Google it if you guys don't know what it is. And then right here, I can just select item to buy. And then here, just enter your scoreboard objective. So in my case, I'm going to use coins because that's my scoreboard objective. And if you guys do not know what this is, then you guys should watch my other videos where I talk about how to create a scoreboard system or a money system. It's like a few months ago that I created that video where you guys can learn about scoreboards and money systems and how to set up like an economy in your world, servers or realms for Minecraft. And then here, just put in the function name. So this one, it cannot be capitalized. It cannot be, I mean, it can be capitalized, but just keep it lowercase, all letters, no space. It's just for like simpler in case if you guys have any problems you guys can easily fix it so um this one is going to be i'm just going to name it shop okay and you guys cannot also leave a blank you guys can leave all of these blank except for the scoreboard objective and the function name and here you guys can put in the shop item so you guys cannot color the shop items you guys cannot put anything other than the item id you guys can of course use spaces and you guys do not need to use underscore so if you guys are like emerald block right so you guys have to do emerald to get the emerald block in game using the slash give command you guys have to do emerald underscore block but in here you guys do not need the underscore so yeah you guys can just put spaces. I have it set so that it just replaces them with underscores. And then here, just put in the item price. So how much coins the players have to spend to buy this. I'm going to do 10 coins. And I can add another item, which this one is going to be dirt. I'm just going to do one. And yeah, you guys can add as many items as you guys want. And unfortunately, you guys cannot remove item if you guys already added one so just be careful of clicking the add item button and then just when you're done just click on generate code and you guys should get this simply simply click on copy code and just copy it and then go to the scripter page and in this page we can create the add-on and then import it to minecraft so let's 
put that on name. I'm gonna do testing for YouTube. YouTube. I'm just gonna put that because I have I I, I actually have a lot more add-ons named testing for YouTube. So I just put dot dot dot. I'm just gonna remove dot dot dot. Just gonna put some random stuff. Okay. Now add on name, just gonna put sus subscribe to O R Z U B K two zero nine, and please do and also like this video because it takes me ages to create these videos and especially create these websites where you guys can easily do your stuff. And I've actually had to create like pause this video into two because. There was a bug with this page that I had to fix, and I had to add these new stuff, and yeah. Anyways, after that, just click on Add Script File, and as you guys can see, this warning says name the first script file main. So it's going to be main, and then this one for here, we're going to scroll down, click on Copy Beginning Code, and when you click it, just paste it, paste that code there first. And then go back to your um, scripter page and then click on copy code. Okay. So copy code. And then here, you guys just paste it in. Make sure that, that it's in here. And yeah, it's in there. Okay. Now, just... Oh. Now we have to create the menu. So let's create a menu. So like a menu. So when you click an item, it's just gonna show you a list of menus where you can teleport to hub or you guys saw at the beginning of the video, so I don't have to really explain much. Let's create, let's just name this um, menu. So it's gonna be colored blue, just like that. And this one, I'm gonna name it, um, Select your action or select um, what you want to do or whatever it is. Select your category. That, that would have been better, but it's fine. And now for this one, I'm just going to do main menu. And now just click on add a button. And this one, this, this part was actually the most troubling part ever because and as you guys can see like this yeah there's still some stuff wrong with it but i'll fix it so it'll work perfectly with, with you guys i'm gonna do the first button is gonna be shop and this one as you guys if you guys go here as you guys can see that it says to open this menu use tag use tag oh wait Use tag open menu and then shop. So tag at s add open menu shop. There you go. So when user clicks that, it'll just open that menu. And of course, I can add a, like a sound, so like a click sound, like ding sound. So I can do play sound random dot um note dot note dot um I don't know what. What was it? Note dot harp at s. And then here I can put another button where I'm gonna do TP two zero zero zero. So when they click it, it's gonna teleport them to zero zero zero. TP TP at s zero zero zero, and I'm gonna say telly. Title as title teleported to zero zero zero, just like that. And yeah, you guys can actually put millions of lines of commands you guys want. And unlike the function, if you guys put a, a wrong command in there, it's not gonna destroy the whole thing. So now, after that, just click on generate code and it should just generate all of this i'm just double checking to see if it's if there's any mistakes in here because i haven't tested it for the fifth time okay 
and now we're just gonna go there after we copy after we clicked on copy code we're just gonna paste it and yeah now that I'm just gonna double check that it's in there and yeah so it's in there and now we're gonna go back to that page because we need to I want to also be able to open those menus by clicking an item so we're gonna go here and then for item ID I'm just gonna put in a piece of I'm just gonna do compass compass okay make sure it's not capitalized because the Minecraft ID when you're doing the slash give command it's not capitalized so make sure it's not capitalized here too and here we're just gonna do tag as add open menu main menu just like that and of course you guys can add more lines of commands so like play sound slash no i'm just gonna do um say main menu opened okay it's gonna say that now now i can also add more items so if i click on different items it's gonna like run more commands so for this one i'm gonna do a piece of gold gold ingot so for this one this part actually you guys have to put the underscore or else it won't work because i was just a bit too lazy to like do the underscore filter thing and now here you guys can just i'm just gonna do title as title you use you clicked gold ingot there you go i can also do effect at s um levitation 110 true so it's just gonna also like affect the player levitation and say title it's gonna title you click the gold and now after that you guys can actually add more stuff but i'm just gonna go with two items and now i'm just gonna click on generate code now copy the code go to the page again and scroll all the way down and if and then just like click on enter or return to like open like get more space and then just paste it and double check that it, you guys pasted it and yeah this oh okay so actually i found i found a mistake right here that i forgot to do one thing so if you guys if we go back here we have to we have to put a minecraft tag at this part so minecraft because there is custom items in minecraft so we have to put the minecraft tag so minecraft so if it's not a minecraft item you still have to put the tag so if it's a cu custom item then you have to put the custom tag and then the item ID. So just like that, now we're gonna regenerate the code. And yeah, now copy the code, go to the page. So yeah, I deleted the code and now I just paste it again. And this time it should work. Just like that. Yep. Now I can just, um, let me just scroll up. Now what I can do is just click on copy code. No, I mean download. So just download it and it'll ask you to download the zip file. Click on yes. And then just go to the downloads folder and then rename this to dot MC add on. Okay, now when you rename it to .mc add-on, you should see the icon changing and then just click on it or just click on it and then click share and then share it to Minecraft and it should just open Minecraft. And also the Minecraft Creator Hub page is also like recommended for PC players and like if you have a PC or like a computer or something other than a phone. So if you guys are using the page on a phone it's gonna be really hard for you guys just because you're in a small screen and it's really hard to do stuff
For me, I was using an iPad, and it's still a bit challenging. So, yeah. Now, I just click on play, and I'm gonna test that in for this world that I've always tested stuff in. So, I'm just gonna click on edit. And number one thing, you guys should make sure that for this add-on to work or any stuff that you guys create or any add-on to work you guys have to make sure that these three things are on toggled on holiday creator features upcoming and beta apis go to behavior packs and then just let me just remove these ones so yeah these are all the stuff that i was testing anyways now go to go to my packs and it just takes a bit for me because I have a lot of packs. And now you guys should see your add-on name and stuff like that. And if you guys do not see it, just scroll all the way down or just find it. And it should be in your packs. And then click on activate, add pack, add the pack anyways. And yeah, now just click on game. No, just click on play. Yeah. Just click on play and then it should just load it into game. And this way you guys also learn how to code. JavaScript coding, of course. So now if I get the compass, um, it is saying that I opened the main menu, but it isn't opening the main, main menu slash tag at s add open menu shop yeah so the shop works but the main menu does not work i'm just gonna check why it does not work real quick it's not gonna take much of your guys time so yeah you guys can just like skip ahead for like 10 seconds and it's just gonna load because this page it just takes pages to load let's do this Yeah, so the main menu thing is not working, but by the time you guys get this and download this, everything will be working. But yeah, as you guys can see, the shop menu won't work. So just do open the shop menu by open menu um, shop. And yeah, just put that tag up, slash tag as add open menu shop. And yeah menu works and of course you guys can click on these buttons to like buy this stuff and let's test the gold ingot yep as you guys can see when i clicked it i got the title and i'm basically flying with the levitation effect yeah and this is it for today's video thanks for watching have a nice day um make sure to like the video and subscribe 